everyone, it's Vicki from PaperInkle.com, back today to share with you another technique. This one's called the salt technique, and it's used to make a modeled background. While it's great for any kind of background, I found it particularly fitting for uh, fall leaves. So let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to take a piece of watercolor paper and I am going to soak it with water. So I'm going to be very, very generous with the water that I'm putting on it because I want it really, really wet. And now that I've gotten it good and wet, what I'm going to do is take my Stampin' Up! reinkers. And I have three of them that I'm going to use today. I'm going to use uh, so saffron, more mustard, and old olive. I'm going to start with the lightest of the three, which is my so saffron. And I'm going to work quickly before my paper dries, but it is really good and wet. And you see how, by doing that, as I drip the reinker on there, it starts to make a really great design. I'm just going to randomly do that and start with my lighter color, go a little darker, and then add in a little splash of the old olive. And I pick these colors just because I like the way they look from a fall perspective. Now you can see the ink's going, and I'm just going to let it all model off and drip down until I get a fun fall background. Now that I have my colors there, here comes the salt part. What I'm going to do is just take some regular salt. This is just coarse kosher salt. And you can use any variety of salts. The thicker the salt, the more it will absorb. And I'm going to sprinkle it right on top of my pattern. And you go my paper. And you can see that where the salt hits, it immediately starts to absorb my ink. Now, if I were to use rock salt or the kind of salt you use outside um, for melting ice, the thicker that is, the more it will absorb. And now I'm going to let it dry. Then once your paper has dried, you're simply going to shake off all of the salt. And you'll see that where the salt comes off, you end up with the color coming off too and a very mottled background. You can then use that background run it through the Big Shot and cut out some fall leaves, which would be a great look as an embellishment on the card. Or you can create your own greeting card with it, whatever you choose. So thanks again for joining me. This is Vicki at www.paperinkle.com demonstrating the salt technique. Please come visit me at www.paperinkle.com where I love to surprise and delight my customers. I hope you'll be next.